Q. I made a prepaid reservation with Prime Time Shuttle for travel from Los Angeles International Airport to our home in Oak Park in May. Even after waiting Christopher Elliott for nearly 90 minutes once we got to the primetime shuttle location outside the Bradley Terminal at LAX we got no shuttle service. Since we had a baby and another child with us and had returned from a long international trip we could not wait any longer for the shuttle. We cancelled our reservation with primetime shuttle and made alternate arrangements for travel from LAX to our home. When we cancelled our reservation, Primetime Shuttle promised to refund the $113 it charged us for the trip. So far, we have not received the promised refund. I have made repeated calls with customer service department and left my phone number with a company to call me back. Nobody has bothered to call me. I've corresponded via email with Primetime Shuttle about the refund. All I get is the runaround. Since I do not expect to get any refund, I wrote a final email to the company yesterday indicating that I would contact the California State Department of Justice regarding this matter. But after I read your Washington Post column today, I thought I would write to you before I contact the Department of Justice. Can you help me get my $113 refund from Primetime Shuttle? Probably Car Palm Edy, Oak Park A, if Primetime Shuttle promised you a refund, it should have promptly sent one. Let's just say it didn't live up with its name in more than one way. It isn't clear why Primetime Shuttle waited two and a half months to do anything, that's the amount of time that elapsed between its promise and the time you contacted me. It's true that credit card refunds can take time, a factor of billing cycles, but you gave the company plenty of time. I'm not even going to raise the question of whether you deserved a refund. But the way I read it, you did. When someone promises you money back, get it in writing. Reaching someone at Prime Time Shuttle wasn't easy. It publishes a toll-free number and a help center on its website. There's a general email for customer queries, customer service at primetimeshuttle.com. But once I got into the weeds on this case, I found that any working email addresses were going to firstname.lastname at apoli-prime-time.intercom-mail.com. Not exactly the most intuitive way to reach a company. On its website, Primetime Shuttle promises of no stress, experience and reliable service. I would like to think your experience is an anomaly. If you ever have a problem with the company again, and I sincerely hope you don't, then you can find a list of current executives on its site, https colon slash slash www.primetimeshuttle.com slash about slash closing parenthesis and use the email formula to reach out to them. I contacted Primetime Shuttle on your behalf. It refunded the $113 it had promised. Christopher Elliott's latest book is, How to Be the World's Smartest Traveler, National Geographic. You can get real-time answers to any consumer question on his forum, elliot.org forum, or by emailing him at chris at elliot.org.